All right, hey guys, uh, it's Mike from Morgan's Vaping Reviews. Well, the second I hit record, my uh, my dog started scratching the couch. This little guy. So, oh, look. I'm just going to bark. Say hi. My name's Winston. Hey, Winston. Okay, you get down. All right, sorry about that. Uh, I haven't done a review in a while. It's been, uh, I don't know, it's, it's been over a week. Uh, and that's not because I haven't wanted to. I have a lot of juice. I'm actually pretty far behind uh, on some of the reviews. But sometimes Ken's not available when I am, and then sometimes I'm available and, and he's not. I think I just said that. And sometimes he's available and I'm not, you know. Uh, so, I mean, we're going to get back to those soon. Uh, I just figured I'll do one tonight on my own. It's not my preference. I prefer to do it with at least one other person. It's always good to have uh, somebody else's opinion. Because all, all of these juice reviews are, are subjective. I've said it before. If I'm talking about something, a unit, it's a little bit different. But when you're talking about a flavor, what I like, you might not. Blah, blah, blah. So, uh, with that being said, I'll start a review in one second. I'm also going to have my mother uh, this Saturday. She'll be coming back. Okay, Winston. Calm down. She'll be coming back. Uh, what you take? What you take? Oh, yeah. She'll be coming back uh, this Saturday. Hmm. To... Uh, check out her progress on, on how she's doing. Uh, I got her, I don't know if you saw the video, but I got her an MVP 20 watt, just a little basic tank. And uh, I gave her some of my juice, but it wasn't that strong. So Jim from uh, Vaptastic, he dropped off a bottle of Coffin Nails 18 mg, and she's been using that. Uh, I spoke to her tonight on the phone. So far, she tells me she hasn't had a cigarette and that she likes it. But uh, she's had a couple of issues with opening the tank and, and filling it up, so uh, she had a hard time with that. Uh, the one tank seemed to be seized up. It was fucked. It was like it was like you needed pliers to open it. So we got her another tank. Uh, it was actually Terry had a Nautilus Mini, so we we took her old tank, and she's been using that. It's been working fine. But I'll have her this coming Saturday to uh, to talk about her progress, and uh, I mean. We can sit here all we want, and we can talk about what's the best RDA and what's your favorite flavor that you're currently using. But before you knew what an RDA was and before you had your favorite flavor, it was about quitting smoking. It was about putting down those cigarettes. So, I mean, that's what it's all about. So uh, I'm hoping that my mother and, and so many other people out there, you know, can enjoy vaping and... Uh, People in those groups, those Facebook groups, uh, you can't forget that. When the new person just starts and they ask a question, don't call them out, don't make fun of them about it. Because there was a time we didn't know what an RD was either. You know, It's it's about quitting smoking. Okay, the uh, flavor I'm doing tonight is from the uh, Yogan Fog line. For people that don't like this line or don't like yogurt vapes, well, that's too bad because they sent them to me, and I do have nine, so I will be doing all of them, and I'll be doing them all separately. Uh, instead of doing all nine in a row, I will try to do other ones in between. So for people that watch the channel, you don't have to just watch that. But tonight I'm going to be doing the Pursuit or whatever it's called. It's this one here, the one in the middle, top row middle. I don't know. I'm not Greek, so I don't know what the proper pronunciation is. Pursue sweet blueberry yogurt, or whatever. The, I'm sure somebody will correct me on the pronunciation. But it's a sweet blueberry yogurt. Oh, and also, uh, I had already done Zeus, the, uh, the lime green yogurt. In that review, I made a comment that I could, it doesn't really taste like yogurt. I could taste the lime, but it, it doesn't really taste like yogurt. I got an email from uh, from one of the uh, the guys at the company, and he basically explained to me that uh, there is an actual lime Greek yogurt by some certain company. 
that they modeled it after. And he ate dozens of, uh, tons of it to try to get the flavor down. And apparently the, the actual lime Greek yogurt doesn't really have much of a yogurt taste. It's very faint. It's very back there. And uh, he sent me an email explaining that that's probably why I couldn't really taste yogurt in, in this one. So uh, kind of makes sense when I read the email. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure in that in that review I said I couldn't taste yogurt. But anyways, moving on, uh, this one here, the sweet blueberry yogurt. That's what I'll be doing right now. It's uh, here. It is right here. I can see that. Produce whatever the hell it's called and blueberry yogurt. Again, uh, nice frosted bottles. It's got like a kind of a dairy look to it with uh, the white tops and whatnot, yogurt line. And they have the childproof caps. So uh, that's, a, that's a plus. Oh, you know what? I'm way too tired tonight. I should have went with the smell test first here. Just This one smells very nice. Uh, I'm pretty sure the first one I, I reviewed, the Zeus had, a, I, I think I said it had a chemical smell, but instant. Come on. This one here has a. It's a very sweet, natural, smelling uh, vapor. It's like a. You smell blueberry, but like a like a candy almost blueberry. I'm sorry about the little pitter pattering in the background. That's uh that's Winston. In unless I can get him to sit down. Winston, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. What does a dog do that with? You call him to come sit down and he just kind of stares you down like that. Come on, buddy. Come on. Look, I got your teddy. Okay, well, he's kind of making love to a stuffed animal over there, so. All right, anyway, sorry about that, overtired. Yogan Fog, Persis or Persus or whatever it is. Uh, sweet blueberry yogurt. It's got a natural kind of sweet blueberry smell to it. Tastes pretty good. The reason why I was doing the review on this one, as you can see, the bottle is roughly half. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it's because I had to do the review before it was empty. Uh, this is the first I've tried it. Uh, my son has been using this and uh, just on a side note, I don't promote kids uh, vaping, uh, but as you can see, I'm not a young guy, and when I talk about my kids, they're older. I've got a, uh, my oldest son is 23, I've got a daughter who's almost 24, and my middle-aged son, uh, Eric, he's 18, and that's how I all, just a quick side note, that's how I started uh, vaping in the first place. When I first heard about vaping, I wasn't really too into it. Very stubborn. I mean, I loved my cigarettes, and I did not want to quit smoking. Uh, I was not one of those people that, when they put their smoke out, they had to bend it over because there was, like, that much left of their cigarette. I smoked every one right to the fucking end. I loved every cigarette, and uh, I smoked every one to the end. Sometimes I'd burn my finger by accident. Uh, so during my Christmas holidays... I woke up in the middle of the night to go take a piss. Uh, I went into the bathroom and I could smell cigarette in, in the bathroom. And the only person that was awake was Eric. At the time he was about 16. So I says to him, I said, Eric, are you smoking? And here I am, the big hypocrite, giving him the, 
the lecture about smoking, and meanwhile, I've been smoking since before he was born. So the following Friday, I picked up two starter pens, and I come home and I put them on the coffee table, and I told him flat out, I said, I've been smoking longer than you've been alive. I said, I'll make you a deal man to man, and we shook on it. I said, I will not have another cigarette if you don't, and these are going to help us. So uh, I ended up about three months later upgrading and buying a, I think I bought this here. I bought a fat snow wolf. And then uh, about six months later, I was hoping he would have just stopped vaping altogether, but at least he wasn't smoking. Then I bought him uh, an eye stick or something. So he's still vaping, and uh, it's better than cigarettes. So that's what got me into the whole vaping. Uh, roughly two years ago, uh, I basically did it to try to set an example to get my son to stop smoking when I found out he was smoking. But I'm glad I found out he was smoking that night because now I'm not smoking either. Uh, so anyways, back to the uh, review. Yoga and Fog pursues whatever. Blueberry sweet yogurt. It's got pretty decent clouds. It's uh, It's exactly what it says it is. Like it's, you taste blueberry, but it's a sweetness. It's like a, I don't think it's just blueberry with a bunch of sweetener thrown in there. It's like a, it's like blueberry, like a very candy, sweet kind of blueberry. But it doesn't just taste like a blueberry with a whole shitload of sweetener. It's a very, very sweet uh, blueberry. I definitely taste yogurt in this one. This is a uh, fuck. I'm, I'm pissed off now. I, sh I should have tried this one sooner because there's like half a bottle, less than half a bottle left. This is actually a very good one. Uh, uh, this is coming to work with me tomorrow. I like this one. This is a. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's a natural blueberry. It doesn't really taste like uh, the blueberry that's in the downside, which was more like a very. Uh, organic kind of blueberry. This this definitely is like a like a candy flavored blueberry, but it goes well. It's a it's a very sweet blueberry with a, a very decent flavor of yogurt. Uh, I wasn't really the biggest fan of, of, of Zeus because it's it's in the yogurt line and it didn't I didn't taste yogurt. But this one here I like. This is a this is like a sweet blueberry with uh, with yogurt and that's all it is but that's all it has to be. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, and there's like no throat hit, no sting out of the nose, uh, all that shit that you have to mention uh, in case people are curious before they buy it. Uh, if you like blueberries and you like yogurt, you're going to like this. Uh, if I had to compare it to the downside, because that, that was another blueberry yogurt that I tried, it, they're in two different classes. They're both blueberry yogurt, but this is like this is like blueberry yogurt with like a candy sweetness to it. And the other one, it tasted like uh, that fruit on the bottom blueberry yogurt. Like it just tasted like a, like a natural blueberry with yogurt. This tastes like someone added some kind of a candy flavor to your blueberry yogurt. So it's like a sweeter blueberry kind of yogurt. But but it goes nice. It's uh, it's very nice. Yeah, that's these I like that one. I'm going to take this one tomorrow. We'll be gone. Uh, oh, and by the way, I'm I've got the uh, velocity on here. It's a clone. So I know we did a review on clones and, and we slammed them pretty pretty hard, but I was talking about certain clones that and, and that one specific one came from Fast Tech.
and I mean, it didn't even attach. And some idiot made a comment saying, uh, wow, it's a clone. Are you surprised at the quality? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that it's a clone. It's still supposed to work. You're not supposed to buy a clone. And just because it's a clone, the fucking thing doesn't even attach. Like, uh, that was beyond stupid. So if, if you want to go back and watch that video about Fast Tech, I mean, I couldn't believe it. That was beyond sick. But even though this is a clone, I, I picked it up from uh, Cloud9 on Portage. Uh, in today's day and age with technology, if you can't afford the original or if there's no place to buy the original, you don't wait and cross your fingers uh, with it clearing customs. And if there's a clone in your area and you pick it up, I mean, I don't really care that this is a clone. I've had this for five days now and I've had no spit back. Uh, I bought the uh, Royal Hunter, I think it is. Uh, a couple of people were telling me how good it was. Uh, personally, I, I don't like it. Uh, it gets fucking hot, like like your lips almost burn. Uh, I think it's on. Oh, here it is. This is the Royal Hunter, and it's got a pretty short, uh, pretty short draw, and it gets pretty hot after like three or four pulls. You can feel the heat on, on your mouth and very uncomfortable. I found it got way too hot, way too fast, and it's got a little uh, spit guard kind of thing, but it, it kind of, uh, when you drip, you actually have to take it off and drip, because if you drip through the spit guard, then it holds all the juice, so then when you take a drag, right into your mouth. So I didn't really like it, but the uh, this one here I've had for five days. I don't care that it's a clone. I've had no spit back. It does not get hot on the on the top end, and uh, I mean flavor and clouds like uh, the Velocity clone. Watch it, okay. The Velocity clone, I, I just love. But anyways, sorry, I keep getting distracted. This is what happens when I'm on my own. I just ramble. Uh, Yogan Fog, the uh, sweet blueberry yogurt. Uh, trash or stash? I would definitely keep this in my in my personal stash. I like it. It's a it's a blueberry with a sweetness. There's no throat hit, no sting out of the nose, pretty decent clouds, and uh, it, it has a good taste to it. So uh, you guys have a good night, and I'll see you again.